Since the dawn of time, humanity has evolved, from our common primate ancestors to what we are today. Due to the development of thumbs and our pure brain power, we picked ourselves up from the mud to build a civilized society, constructing higher and higher before eventually reaching the stars. This is the civilizing process. Or is it? What does it mean to be civilized? And who decides who is civilized? People in Western Europe consider us as civilized, but who are the ones that civilized Western Europe? The plurality of historians point towards one thing, Rome. Yes, the Romans, one of the greatest empires in world history. They expanded via conquest. First the Etruscans, then the Carthaginians, and finally the Gauls, bringing Roman law, language, and architecture to every corner of their empire, which laid the foundations for Western European civilization. Even here in Barcelona, Spain, the Roman influence can still be found. Here in its aqueducts and its city walls that make up Barcelona's historic Gothic quarter. Now, the Romans, for being so civilized, the great civilizers of Europe, it's funny that these are just ruins today. And what society could have brought Rome to its knees? Well, who else but the Germans? Here, the tribes of the barbarians, who call themselves the Germans, have consolidated themselves in what they call cities. Here in this quaint little settlement known as Bremen, here you will see a traditional German tribesman cuisine. You'll notice the meat to bread ratio is very off due to their new quest for meat after a long day of hunting. Behind me, you will see the animal deity the local tribes like to worship. They go up at the feet of their gods and hold them for good fortune and luck, as well as for fertility. The tribes return from their combat ritual with fellow German tribes, playing foosball, of which they compete for who can kick a ball the most times. As you can see, the Bremen tribe has not fared so well. Behind me, you will see the Germans' most sacred site. Among their animal gods they also worship, they come here at their temple, called the Hupta Banahof, to go and travel throughout their lands and communicate with other tribes. Now that we understand the German tribes, let's figure out what it's like to interact with them in their language. Here's one's now. Hallo, Entschuldigung, Entschuldigung. Alles knusprig? What? Alles knusprig, Digga? Like, what is this? I, for, for an interview, Martin, Are you oder? You're filming this. Get this off. I have no time for this shit. Jungli? Eh? Like, are you trying to speak Denglish, Deutsch, or Spaß? Idiotic? Ich kann Deutsch. Hinst du? Well, as you can see, the uncivilized tribes that call themselves the Germans are still active and alive today. Back to you, Alec. Thanks, Alec. As you can see, the rampant barbarism feeds all throughout Germany. But historically speaking, Germany was the one who thought they were civilized. Most people consider Germany civilized. Even Germany tried to spread their civilization, again, through violence. <laughs> Otto von Bismarck famously said, it is not through diplomacy or decision-making that the great questions of the day will be decided, rather through iron and blood. For a country that calls themselves so civilized, it's quite barbaric of a phrase. In fact, most of Europe considers itself civilized, so much so that around the turn of the century, they decided to colonize and civilize everyone else. Oh, wow. wow. How nice it is to have oranges, huh? Hey, Rajesh, bang shot! You'd like freedom? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> time and time again, you see Europe trying to civilize other places via conquest. But what about when the reverse happens? Right about... 
Kir and Istanbul, and very notably, not Constantinople, you see the reverse is shown. A Western society that you would think is the civilization that dominates others was dominated what we call an Oriental society. The capital of the Byzantine Empire, a Christian empire, the former remnants of Rome, was dominated by the Ottoman Empire under Sultan Mehmed II. Despite the Sultan's conquest being even very similar to those of Rome and later the Germans, the Ottoman Empire, and to a larger extent Turkey today, is still looked down upon as not being as civilized as the rest of Europe. For hundreds of years, European societies looked down on those they considered less civilized, despite many examples of them even being more advanced. When Europe was experiencing what is literally called the Dark Ages, the Islamic world was in a golden age of scientific discovery. Societies all over the world are considered to be not be civilized simply because they're different than Europeans. In fact, all of sociology has this problem, and every social science is so dominated by the patriarchal Western society that other voices often aren't shown. Even this video, for example, has me, the white guy from America, explaining literally every... نفس ما تفتون البشرية هني هل الشخص اللي لو بيض ما يفهم إيش قاعد يقول أوكي فليش نوبت إلياس قال نيجي ندرس هالاجتماعي بنطالع حركات الناس وندرسها ونقربها البعض البعض كل هذا صار في كل هذا صار في الكتاب Civilization Process. Although Elias's book provides some theories, no one can really say what being civilized truly means. We must all remember that social behavior and attitudes, as well as so-called appropriate manners, are socially constructed concepts and are constantly changing. So at the end of the day, we're all civilized if we get along. You smelled it. I could call it. I can't do 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 it